Trending in Sports presents Harper's Sports Bazaar with Harper Cody. Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Joining us on today's show is Colin Elliott of your Brockville Braves. Good morning, Colin. How are you today, man? Good morning, Harper. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Glad to have you back on. And uh, so, Colin, let's go back to last weekend. You guys had a pair of games uh, back-to-back on Friday and Saturday against uh, Navin and Hawkesbury. Two really good teams, two losses, but uh, really close games. Good efforts by you guys. Your thoughts on uh, the two games last weekend? Well, uh, I thought we played pretty well for most of the game, Navin, and then also most of the game for Hawksbury, but obviously with Dustin as our new coach, we're trying to find this new identity, and uh, we got to find a way to close out those close games, even though we might outshoot a team, but you just got to leave a little bit more to find that extra goal or maybe just get a gritty one to put them behind. You mentioned that uh, you guys are trying to find that new identity under Dustin, and he's talked a lot about being physical, wearing other teams down. That's your game. You're a big, strong winger. So how comfortable are you with this sort of identity change that you guys are going with? I, I like it. I uh, We're trying to be big and fast, and Dustin's making some more moves to be big and fast. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, A-OK with it, and I'm sure a few of the other guys are too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of changes with the roster, as as you mentioned, and uh, different line combinations and things like that. How do you kind of handle and process that? Do you just kind of say, I got to just focus on myself? Or does it kind of creep into the psyche a little bit that, holy geez, these are a lot of changes? How do you deal with that? Uh, you got to be vocal on the bench with you know it's even if if it's within games or if it's you got a new line come friday night you gotta you gotta talk with your new line mates or whoever it may be and just you know be positive about it and you just well you gotta work it's you gotta play hard no matter who you're with but you just gotta be like come back to the bench talk it out you know have a game plan yeah, definitely. Uh, you've been great on the penalty kill this season, and even going back to last season as well, and, and so is Cole Hayne. It just seems like you guys are dangerous even when you're a man down and you're, be able, you're able to create some offense. Uh, what works so well for you playing on the penalty kill? Like, Why is it such a good fit for you? I think it's just, uh, you know, power plays can get pretty repetitive, so... You go out there for the first one in the game, you kind of get an idea of what the other team's trying to do, and then you can read it. And then uh, also having a good stick is part of the plan. You uh, They always try to go down the wall and right back up to the D, so you can just kind of follow them and pick off the puck and send it right back down. But also, Walt has had the same game plan for PK the whole year, and it seems to be working, so... I like it. Yeah, absolutely. You and Cole Hayne have been great when uh, you guys are down a man for sure. Um, This season has gone wonderfully well for you so far. 20 points in 18 games. You had 23 and 45 last season. Uh, You're a year older. How confident were you feeling coming into this year uh, being one of those veteran guys on this team? Yeah, well, I... uh... Obviously, after the break last year, I went on a bit of a roll, too. So I And then in playoffs, I thought I pretty, played pretty well. So I kind of just, you know, went to work in the summer, carried it over. And, you know, just last year, junior, so I may as well give it my all, right? Yeah, definitely. No, you've looked great this season once again. And uh, so tomorrow night, Smith Falls Bears are in town. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10. Uh, of course, uh, one of the top uh, point producers in uh, in the CCHL and Sean James. Uh, what do you guys have to do to shut down the Bears uh, tomorrow night and uh, erase this two-game skid? Uh, we got we got to stay out of the box against that team. We know how dangerous they are on the power play. Even though our penalty kill has been pretty well, but 
they move the puck really well. They're fast. They got some big guys on their blue line. So we got to be physical against them and wear them down. And uh, Will McAvoy, who used to be a brave, can get pretty hot in that sometimes too. Should so we got to get in front. Night. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Should be a good one. Uh, Braves and Bears tomorrow night at the Memorial Center, 730 puck drop. We'll see you there. Colin, thank you so much for this, man, and keep up the great work. Oh, thank you, Harper. No, thanks for having me. And now I know my